My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I am reviewing Montel Fantastic Oud Air de Parfum. And this is £119 for 100ml. I would have called it Super Fantastico Oud. Fantastic Oud Air de Parfum introduces to the Western world the scents of the East. Floral rose and patchouli are released upon first spritz, quickly deepening to a richer notes of tobacco, incense and strax that merge with leather and sandalwood. It's made to spritz over evening wear when night falls. Okay. The notes are in Super Fantastico, Fantastico Oud. Incense Strax, Tobacco Oud. The heart notes are Rose and Patchouli. The base notes are Leather, Sandwood and Amber. Do we have our bottles of Super Fantastico Oud? Are we engaged with a high self? Let's get testing. I'm dreading the little bag. I wonder what the tinking was in the bottom. It's this little star. I love this. I think it's very cool. I'm always having to, if you'd like to know something, we have something coming out at some point. And when Video Unicorn was designing it, he wanted to have lots of things coming off it. And I'm always no simple. I like simple things, you know, more simplistic things. But I'm sure Video Unicorn would love this. I'm sure we'd love to design something like this. I think it smells very nice. There you go, we can finish the review there. Musk heavy formulation. So musk of your formulations tend, are more difficult to work with because they tend to flatten everything out. They tend to be more expensive because not all musks, I mean, ethylene bracelet isn't that expensive, but a lot of musks are really expensive. So a musk of your formulation with a really nice musk accord is kind of great and tends to be more expensive. The ethylene bracelet, I see super giving that ambery, woody backbone to the formula. This is a symphony of musks, clean musks. Metallic musks, must to smooth, must to give a woody feel as well. It's quite shiny and sparkly. I think the um, that sort of how it sort of smells is like shiny. There's a shiny quality to it. And that is the radiant sort of wood compounds that are in there. Kashmir in it is giving that sort of vibrancy. So this is a vibrant, clean, sharp, shiny formulation. This is a great way to construct naturals within it. The sandwood, the patchouli, the cypress, the galak wood and balsams. It's really like classic way to construct supporting oud notes within a formula. I like the um, construction around the core, the floral note, the fini, the alcohol, the ambroxin, the cashmere, and that's having to give vibrancy and metallic. It's very metallic. It smells completely finished. On to my final thoughts. Um, so I'm going to go through my notes and thought processes. Box safe, legal, compliant of Super Fantastico Oud, which I really like. It's nice, it's sort of vibrant on the skin, clean, shiny, metallic, Oud-like. It smells finished and complete, radiant. But why am I sort of struggling? It's kind of a little bit underwhelming. Oud is my most favourite thing. I kind of want a little bit more when you're dinning food. It smells very nice. It smells very nice fragrance, but to me, it's not giving me that thing. It's not giving me the X factor. It's not giving me that uh, ooh -la, la sensation, all of that. It's sort of missing something from it to really sort of make my head tingle and sort of make me pass out. But it's a very nice fragrance. Box safe, local compliant. Technically, it's really good. Its longevity is really good. Projection isn't too good on my skin. You know, it's nice. Do I like it? No, not really. A little bit underwhelming. And uh, I'd just like some more. Maybe some floral absolutes would be nice. A little bit of vanilla would be nice. Vanilla molecules would be very nice. Other ambers in there to just oomph it up. But the longevity of these fragrances are really good. So technically, they're awesome. Um, I'm going to mark it an 8 out of 10. It's kind of. You know, technically really good, price is really good, longevity projection is really good, it's quite nice, but it's not really doing it for me, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. So if you love that review, thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands, and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.